welcome back to my bathroom. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, check out some of my other videos. This video is the second video in a series that I'm doing called Confessions of a Bearded Lady. The last episode here, I don't even know if I have one left. I kind of did my basic, normal, um, get rid of my facial hair routine. Um, at this point, I have done, I think that was like six weeks ago, a month ago. At this point, I have done one additional treatment with that, and now I'm actually out of that. Um, I wish I could find it. Oh, I found it. Um, so that was the Avon Skin So Soft Fresh and Smooth Sensitive Skin Facial Hair Removal. Absolutely love this stuff. There's a dog trying to get in here. Absolutely love this stuff, um, but I'm out, and I so I have to reorder it, and it usually only comes around during the winter, so I don't have any at the moment. So we're going to do a little DIY. So this one here is a video I actually found on YouTube. I will link the video up in the corner here, down below. There's a dog still trying to get in here. Out of here, dog. So yeah, this one uses four ingredients, four ingredients that I have in my kitchen. Gelatin, milk, turmeric, and honey. So those are the four ingredients that are in this. So I have those ingredients in the kitchen, so I will bring you out there and we will get them ready. And then we'll come back in here and I will show you what this is all about. I don't know why I care about what my hair looks like since we're about to um, get rid of my facial hair. I'm going to have to put up my hair because I always have this fear that I'm going to do something to this hair that I don't want. And this hair here will fall out or will come with it. So, always uh, going to put it up, hide it in the background. Now, if you're wondering why I have facial hair, we'll get into that when we're applying the mask. Welcome to the kitchen. So I have my bowl here, which is going to basically contain all the ingredients that I need except for my milk. And I'm going to use this one bowl, a spoon, and I will need a pot to warm up my milk. But the ingredients that I have are just this original gelatin. You find it in like the baking aisle of your local grocery store. I believe I'm going to need a teaspoon. Um, I just realized that I have the recipe on my phone and no worries out because I'm going to have to grab that after. But I will let you guys know exactly how much I'm using once I mix it. But clear gelatin, honey, do my turmeric go I have to go grab my turmeric. But this, this, and then milk and turmeric, those are my four ingredients. All right, now I have all my ingredients. Milk, turmeric gelatin and honey so this is all i need it does say raw milk which i am assuming this is not raw milk but this is the milk i have so i think it'll still work the same i just think some of the benefits that you get out of the whole raw milk is not going to necessarily happen with this but i think the hair will still come out i realize that all my cupboards are just and yeah, that is my trash bin on top of my sink. We have some dogs who can't keep themselves out of the trash. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to warm up my milk and I'm gonna look at my recipe and then I will bring you guys back into the bathroom to get this process started. Welcome, so I'm just going to be putting, this is my milk, we have 1% milk. I'm not sure you guys can't actually see that, but it's 1% milk in here. I only need two teaspoons, so I don't need very much, but I know in order to warm it up, I'm going to need more than that. So, I'm just going to put this on low. So, I'm just going to let this hang out for a minute. I need it on low. And I'm going to take you guys into the bathroom, tell you my recipe, the complete recipe, and go from there. Welcome back to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so the exact recipe is here. I need one teaspoon of gelatin, two teaspoons of milk, 
one quarter teaspoon of honey and a pinch of turmeric. So what I'm going to do at this moment is I'm going to uh, take my ingredients and lie them out here. The first thing I'm going to put in is my gelatin. Like I said, this is just a regular gelatin I got in the baking aisle at my store. We're going to be doing a super precise measurements today in this teaspoon that is here. Looks like that's about right. Into my bowl it goes. So along with that, I'm going to go check on I'm gonna go put this away because this is gonna get lost and wet in the bathroom and I'm gonna check on my milk all right everybody I just realized I <laughs> forgot the gelatin so since you've been gone the milk is ready my camera fell on the floor and spilt everything I've done thus far so we gotta start back at square one so I'm gonna go grab the gelatin and get Miss Will out of the bathroom because she has snuck herself on in come on with all all right i'm back and i've actually brought the hot milk with me so we're gonna start here i have my gelatin i'm gonna do this one more time you may be like why are you doing it again oh yeah because i just dropped it all over the floor so really precise measurements once again here with my hand to dand a teaspoon. I'm gonna measure out roughly a teaspoon of gelatin. Whoops. It is powdery, so it flew all over the place when I went down. So along with my gelatin, which I have put in this bowl, I'm going to be so it's one teaspoon of gelatin, two teaspoons of the milk, a quarter teaspoon of the honey, which we did have to pick up new honey for this little experiment because I thought we had some and we ended up not having any. All right, so brand new honey, it says quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just, I'm just gonna get what I think is about a quarter of a teaspoon there. Put that on in there. Take my turmeric. This is a pinch, so I'm gonna do a shake, shake. Of the turmeric, so this is what I got. It's all in there. It is not mixed together at the moment, so I'm just gonna mix it. Oh, it does say that it's gonna smell bad, so I'm gonna go grab some essential oil. I'm back, I had to kind of decide what did I want this to smell like. I'm getting a citrusy vibe from it. So I grabbed rosemary and some rosemary and some grapefruit. So I'm gonna do more rosemary. I just think it's going to be The rosemary did not have a little thing on it. So we're not putting any grapefruit in it. I just like dumped half my rosemary bottle into it. So wow, now I'm gonna smell like rosemary, but I'm not gonna smell the nasty um, gelatin that they warned me about. I'm gonna just add a little bit more gelatin since I added a little bit too much liquid to that. And a tiny bit more milk. Splash. Because I'm trying to get it to a paste consistency. And it says it's best to apply with a brush. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me grab my brush. This is kind of at a paste consistency at this point. That's what we're working with. I've gotten a snack. So we're going to get started now. Here it is. I have a brush. This is just a flat one. This is kind of the flattest one I could find. Now for me, if you don't remember, I'm going to shut this. My bad area is kind of like right here. 
Um, it's really bad. I'm not going to go above my lip right now because I feel like that's all right. But I'm going to get my cheeks and I'm going to get my neck. So, I mean, it smells delicious because I put all that essential oil in it. But we will see if it does what it's supposed to do. Because it's supposed to, as it dries, kind of like adhere to that hair and, and can do some great things for your pores. So we will see how this works. At this point, I kind of feel like I'm rubbing eggs on my face, although there's no eggs in this. Maybe it's just the color. So now if you happen to wonder like, why does this girl have facial hair? I have something called a poly polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's, I don't know, a pretty common thing I would say in terms of lots of women have it. Um, but basically, some of the side effects of it for me, it, well, it's a hormonal imbalance. So some of the side effects is facial hair, a hard time losing weight, um, easy time gaining weight, um, lack of a period, lack of, hard time having babies. Like I had to go through some fertility in order to have Kensley, who is currently two. So yeah, facial hair has been something I have been fighting since I was a teenager, um, and I haven't ever found anything that works 100% or gives me the effects long enough, because I hate doing this on a regular basis. It is not something I enjoy doing. I wish I never had to do it. I feel like most people don't, and I, I know it's a choice that I make to do this, I, I understand that, but I just feel like I don't want to be judged on my facial hair, so I get rid of my facial hair. It's starting to get very gloppy in my bowl, this is probably the last little bit I'm going to get on. So what happens is I now have this on, and I wait 30 minutes, and then I pull it off, so I will come back to you guys in 30 minutes. Hey, welcome back. So this has actually been on now for like an hour. It is just after 11 and I put it on just after 10. So I came and checked it earlier and it was not quite ready. I felt like it was still a little damp. I kind of still feel that way, but I'm sick of waiting. So what it said is to kind of pull down here and as you can see this is already starting to come up and it does say that it's going to be unpleasant feeling so we will see how this goes that does not hurt at all oops i'm not sure i did put that essential oil in which made the dough mix the paste a bit wet. So all of the hair is actually staying on my face. still exactly where it was when I started. So what I'm going to do with this one is, I think this is a bit of a trial and error. So what you guys are going to either get is a two part or maybe we'll just uh, roll it right now depending on how long this video lasts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wipe off the rest of this and start new tomorrow. 
see you guys then. Well, sorry this didn't necessarily work as well as the girl in the video. But trial and error, everybody. See you guys next time. Um.